future pays off. Say what? The best thing to do is to fund the future, because fund the future pays off. Say what? The best thing to do is to fund the future, because the fund the future pays off. Say what? There you go. You had to work that in somewhere. Yeah, he got it. Which, of course, is very similar to... There ain't, ain't no, no power, power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? United, we'll never be defeated. The students, united, we'll never be defeated. The students, united, we'll never be defeated. The students, united, we'll never be defeated. You have to understand why education is a right, and I think you all do. And it's because it's fundamental to equality and justice in our society. That's why education is a right. It's not a privilege for the few who have lots of money. It's not, it's not something that gets denied to people who have done all the work, they've, they've got the grades, and they get the door slammed in their face because they haven't got the economic means. And that's what we're seeing today. I've talked to students myself who said to me, Jack, I have to, I have to step out of the education. I try. I went for two years, but I've got so much debt on my shoulders now that I literally can't handle it. I'm going to have to take a couple of years off. And once they've done that, in many cases, they can never get back. I've talked to students who have studied to be, for example, early childhood educators. And then they find out that the job they're going to get at the end of the day won't pay them enough to pay off the debt that they incurred in order, in order to educate our youngest children. I mean, that's a double whammy attack on education as a right, because it's attacking the right of those little kids to have good early childhood educators as well, isn't it? So there's a lot that needs to be done here. In the 90s, we saw the greatest assault on the financing of post-secondary education and training and, for, and uh, colleges that we've seen ever. It was all on the grounds that we had to get rid of the debt. Remember that? Some of you were a little young at the time. But you know, in your grade three class, you were discussing about the injustices, the injustices of the government. Maybe not every classroom. <laughs> but you know something? After the debt was paid off in three years, the government started racking up surpluses. And what did they do with the surpluses? War! They gave them, well, there was some war. <laughs> they gave them away in the largest tax cuts that the rich, the super rich, and the big corporations have ever seen. Shame! Shame! And you see, that's the problem. These corporations think that they have a right, and the governments have gone along with them, uh, to get uh, reductions in their taxation. And yet they want the best trained and educated employees and they say that we've got a productivity problem. Can't they put those two things together? The thing about education as a right is that it's fundamental for justice and so on, as I mentioned. But it's also fundamental for our economy to have a well-educated, 